You know, traditionally, people um, would think that when you mention the word demon, people think that that has a lot to do with religion, right? They feel it's a correlation between that and religion. So now that religion is a big joke or it's becoming a big joke, you know, something that's being looked at as, um, you know, superstitious, uh, the concepts and the ideas of um you know, uh, superstitious people and ignorant people from the past. That's what religion is starting to be known as. I don't care if it's Christianity, Islam, Judaism. You know, people are starting to smarten up and wise up about that, you know, and those beliefs. However, the very real terminologies of a supreme being known as God or Amino, as we refer to them, and demons are very real. See, you can take that word demon out of religion, just like you can take God out of religion, and you get people, you get men, right? You get people who are demented, because as I said, the word demon is really D E M E N, right? Demon is really short for demented, right? When you see someone and uh, you know, they used to say people were possessed or, you know, whatever. You know, they would say these people are out of their minds. These people are acting illogically, babbling, you know, acting out, just doing things that don't make any sense. So it would make perfect sense to understand that the person who is being referred to as a demon or someone who says, oh, that person got demons on them and whatever the case may be, is a person who is demented, a person who's mentally out of tune. The person who's mentally out of tune is one who is not in connection with God, the supreme being, who is the true source of all intelligence. Right? This is factual. This is actual. This is not belief. This is logical. See, we only deal with logic here. We only deal with the intelligence and the logic of God. We don't deal with beliefs. We don't deal with uh, uh, concepts. We don't deal with philosophy here in the state of mental. We don't deal with that. We deal with the actual logical uh, 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 reality of God. And God sends intelligence to man and woman. He advances their intelligence. Just as there are people that God does not send intelligence to. There are people that God disconnected. These are people that he cut off. These are people who are not receiving random access to God's intelligence. And these people know it. These people are angry at that. These people are the descendants of those who were cut off. Right? Right? These people are walking amongst the black race today. That's what we call them black demons, right? Demented ones, the black demented ones. And their whole purpose is to cause confusion, right? And disconnect man and woman who are seeking light, who are seeking enlightenment, who are seeking the intelligence of God to disconnect you from God, to sit up here and say things like there is no God, or I'm God, or uh, um, God is a concept A supreme being A supreme intellectual being is a concept Or they have no true comprehension Or uh, uh, or understanding of what God is They want to sit up here and say God is a religious concept When you're staring in the face And the reality of a real God Based on what you see here These people will still sit up here And try to deny that they're God That there's a God Or that there's a supreme being Those are your black demons the people who are opposite or on the other side of your black demons are your bright mentalists, right? Because as I said, black denotes uh, a person who's in darkness, in an ignorant state, a person who who lacks light. That's what black um, um, represents, a person in darkness, right? Now, these people will say, oh, brother, black draws all in, draws light and pulls in light, right? And it shields the light. The whole purpose of a person who is referred to as black or the so-called color black, which is really not a color, right? It is to encompass light, to shield it, to cover it, right? And those people who cover the light are the people who cover the truth. They are the people who sit and tell lies. They cause confusion. 
They mislead people. They keep anything to keep people away from receiving light, from receiving intelligence. They what we call shaded people. Remember when people say, yo, that person, that cat is shady. There's something shady about that person, right? Meaning that's something, that person's hiding something about their character. That's something that's not right with that person, right? Shady characters. And then with your mother and your grandmother and them, always tell you that person's a shady character, right? Something not right about that person. Something's off, right? These people are demented. These people are demons. These people are lost souls. These are people who are wandering, wandering, wandering around, wandering around in the world, lost. They have no purpose for being here. We spoke about purpose the other night. These people have a purpose. Their only sole purpose, right? It's not the right purpose. Their only sole purpose is to keep you disconnected from the intelligence of God. That's their purpose. To keep you moving in a ro- rotation or a revolution of practices and rituals, basically doing nothing, being a zero. That's why I refer to these people as zeros. The zeros are the people who constantly move in the same rotation and the same cipher and the same thing, doing the same thing over and over and over again, never moving forward. And they, their whole purpose for existing is to keep you in that circle. Right? They're your drug dealers. They're your rappers. They're your your um, politicians and industry people that keep you in a certain circle doing the same thing over and over again. The drug dealer, he keeps the people on drugs. Um, he feeds the, uh, the, the um, dependency, the dependency of those people who are on drugs who are constantly moving in a circle, the constantly same circle, getting up every day to get high, go to bed, go up, get high, go to bed, get up, go, up, go get high. That's the dependency, and that's a circle that they feed with these people. Right? The rapper and these people, they serve the ignorance, the circle of ignorance. They feed the circle of ignorance. Uh, the black man just being in the hood and the black woman being in the hood, being losers and zeros, getting up, smoking weed, going, sitting around, sitting on the bench, talking about nothing, doing nothing, being about nothing. You understand? No future evolution. These people avoid of God's intelligence because God's intelligence moves people forward. It helps them break the circle. It is that fuel or that source of that power that moves you forward in an evolutionary state. These people who are demons, they want to keep you in a revolutionary state. It's no coincidence that a lot of these people who came out in the 60s who was talking this revolutionary nonsense, a lot of these people you see you know, who they are and what they are and what they ended up becoming. They fell right into this society. Why? Because the whole point is that they were demons in the first place. They were about the revolution. They were about basically taking our people back into the same circle of madness. They weren't about moving our people forward. They were about taking our people in the same circle of madness. And what happened? They, we right back where we started, pretty much. We right back where we started. These are the people that push crime to our people, right? Your so-called black men who are rappers and just the, just the influences in the hood who push crime and all this other stuff. Let's rob something. Let's steal something. Let's sell some drugs. Let's do this. Let's do that, right? They push this mentality to the people. To the younger generation, to the young, the black youth, so-called black youth, right? Then what happens? You go right into the bondage system, right? And what is the bondage system today? Is it not um, slavery? Is it not servitude? Is it not a bunch of people trading you back and forth from prison to prison, going to jail to prison and whatnot, and you got people making money off of you? You have stock um, stock options on you on the, on Wall Street. You have prison industrial complex being built off you, so you're in bondage again. You right back in slavery again. So a music or a person who feeds this mentality, a person who feeds this low-minded mentality is a demon because he's demented. He is void of light. He is void of intelligence. He's ignorant. Right? He's ignorant. She's ignorant. We're going to talk about that tonight. I am the intellectual Newman Mankare, and tonight on this special Saturday night, uh, State of Mental Radio, we're talking about the whole purpose of a black demon. See, because there are demons. Forget all the religious connotation behind it. Make no mistake about it. These people are mentally disturbed, right? And they're born that way. How is the black demon born? The black demon is born very simply. When you, that sister who might be a, a righteous sister, 
some a sister who who uh, know what's right, who want to move forward, you end up meeting that demon, that guy who just wants to keep you in a circle of madness, keep you in a state of confusion. You end up meeting him, right? And you think because he a bad boy, he cute, whatever the hell he is, right? He gets you involved in a bunch of madness and stupidity, right? Because he is void of light. He's void of intelligence. So what does he do? He pulls you into a circle of madness with him. Next thing you know, you're laying up with him. Next thing you know, you're pregnant. Next thing you know, you're producing a bunch of little demons. Right? Or you got two, a man who's like that and a woman who's like that, both devoid of the intelligence of God, both just just blank. Just 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 not, and not a good blank, but a dark blank. Just void. Just shady. Shaded people. These people are void of the intelligence of God. You got a lot of black men and black women around here. They walking around here. They are void. You understand? They're absent of the intelligence or the connection with God. They don't have it. That's why they run to the church. That's why they run to mosques. That's why they run to all these places because they're trying to pull in the energy of other people because they really don't know what it is the people are going for. They don't have a real idea or a, a true understanding or a true connection with God, so they try to find that in people. They try to find it in rituals. But when you come to them logically and explain God to them logically, not from a concept, not from a principle, but logically, they don't get it. The only people that get the logical connection with God is the people who are in tune with God mentally, the people who are moving forward, the people who are not. They're not going to get it. Those are the people who want to run the religion. They want to run to Islam. They want to run to Christianity, Judea, whatever. They want to run to anything that deals with a circle. They are attracted to circles. They are attracted to rituals. They are attracted to customs. They are attracted to culture. You understand? Anything that's ritualistic, the black demon is attracted to. Why? Because in a ritual, in a custom, they can hide who they truly are. They can hide their ignorance. See, it doesn't take an intelligent person, one who was tuned in from God, to follow rituals because they're already laid out for you. But when a person has to use their intelligence and truly show and prove that they are connected to the mind of God, then you get to see who the demon is and who the real person who is God is, the person who is the extension of God, the one who is in tune with God. The one who is becoming, actually evolving into God versus the people who are revolving further into darkness. And that's the majority of your black race today. They are revolving further into a circle of darkness and ignorance until they will be revolved or devolved out of existence. That's what's happening today. That's how they are able to tell our people they are able to take a people who were once forward-thinking, forward-moving people. And they can make them degenerates, right? I'm talking about the beast, the people who are in ruling class, the people who want to stay in power. They can take our people who were once intelligent, righteous people, most, some of our people, not all of them, but the majority of our, the, the main ones of our people, and they can make them degenerates. Or they can expose them to a bunch of degeneracy like tattoos and smoking weed and sitting around with your pants hanging down with your behind hanging out, all of that. That. That's how they're able to feed on the ignorance of a people. Now, you got a lot of our people here who are just following because they don't know no better. They're just following a trend, and they don't think there's nothing wrong with that. But it is something wrong with that when you're producing generation of people after that that look like this, who are just following the mentality of a low-natured people, right? A people who are becoming low-natured, a people who contribute nothing to the world. Are people who contribute nothing but st um, st um, stupidity and foolishness now. That's what the so-called black race is known for. Why? Because a lot of black demons are in the forefront. A lot of black demonic figures are in the forefront. Or should I say a lot of black demented figures. A lot of black demented figures are in the forefront. These are your reverends. Your religious leaders, your theologians, your so-called historians, your black culturalists. These are your niggas in the hood. With their pants down, these are the, uh, the the chicks on Jerry Spring and getting uh, the black so-called black woman getting her head done talking about a bunch of nonsense, right? That's who they are. These are your demons. About two thirds of our people are demons. Two thirds of the black race are demons. Straight up, I'm gonna just say it how it is. Two thirds of our people are demons. And I'm not even gonna refer to them as our people. 
Two thirds of them are in darkness. They're mentally dead walking around here. Now you got the rest of our people who, like I said, are asleep. They are asleep. And they're waiting to be woken up by the intelligence of God. They're waiting to hear the logic of God. They're waiting to hear an instrument of the voice that is going to present the message of God to the people. They're waiting for that. And it's here. But it's not going to come how they expected it to come. It's not going to come through religion. Because religion is full of demons. It attracts demons. It attracts the demented people. That's why you see everybody in the church. They tell you in the church, come as you are. You understand? Full of demons. Full of a bunch of demented people. You understand? People who are following in a circle and spiraling out of control. People who are going further and further down into darkness and ignorance. They accept, and notice they accept anybody in the church. So when you accept anybody, you open the door, you fling open your door for a bunch of demons. A bunch of demented people. A b- some of the worst people are in the church. Some of the worst people are in the mosque. They praying next to you. They come in the sisters, they come into the church looking for a man with their breasts hanging out. And they behind the tight dresses with their butt showing. Trying to find a man to make his life a living hell. These are the people that are in church. They're the ones turning your sons into homosexuals and your daughters into lesbians, molesting your kids. Right? That's in the church. They're the gangbangers and whatnot who want to get at your daughter and get her pregnant. That's in the church. Or they just live in the lie of the religion of Christianity. They're just following lies and teaching more lies to the people and spreading lies. So if you're not spreading the truth about God, the real God, you ain't the forward thinking God, the forward moving God, not no God, no circle that you trapped in a circle of your beliefs and your concepts, but the true and living God who does not fit in your box. The true and living God who's moving forward, if you're not teaching the intelligence of that or you're not seeking the intelligence of that, then you're a demon. You're a black demon. You are one who is in darkness and in ignorance, and you want to follow the ways of man. You want to follow the ways of man and religion. Yet you wonder why our neighborhoods are getting worse. You wonder why things are getting worse amongst our people. You wonder why they're getting more and more, they're becoming more and more degenerate like. Even you sisters who sitting in the church, your sons is in the street. They listen to they listen to Jigger and all these other people. They listen to the rappers. They listen to all these people with the negative influence. That's what they listen to. That's who they want to be like. That's who they want to emulate. Right? They want to emulate demons because now a bunch of demented people. They want to be little Wayne. Now, if that's not a demon, I don't know who is. If that's not somebody who's demented, I don't know who is. That's who they want to be. But then all people go, oh, that's just music. That's just an image. That ain't real. Yeah, it is real. Look at your kids. Are they not walking around their pants hanging down? Are they not tattooing themselves up? Are they not drinking damn codeine, cough syrup, and smoking weed? You understand that? But it's just a, that ain't real. That's just an image. That's just a record. That's just an image. That ain't real. But your kids following it. So now they, they, they encompass that. So now they make it real in their life. Now it becomes real in their life. Right? They embody it. So now they embody the image of a demon. Because now they're a bunch of demons now. Now you wonder why your sons want to sit around and do nothing. They don't have any kind of mentality to do nothing. Their creativity is gone. Everything is gone. Nothing. They're not opening. They're not opening their minds up to receive the intelligence of God to move them forward. They're not even thinking on that level. They're not even thinking on that level. They're just a bunch of mentally controlled demons, a people who have been made demented, a people who have lost their way mentally. That's real. But a lot of our people, they don't want to accept that. They want to sit up here and say, oh, well, brother, that's a religious belief. Brother, you you know, you're just going on too hard about religion. Look at the black neighborhood. You're going to sit up here and tell me that's a religious belief? You're going to sit up here and tell me that's not a reality? Look at the babies you raised in the day. They're a bunch of demons. they straight up demons. The majority of them are demons. They're demented. Like I said, this ain't no religious rant. This ain't no concept. This is a re- reality. They are demented. They are off mentally. Because as I said, God is the guy for man's and woman's intelligence. He's the one that moves people forward. He's the one that puts inspiration in your head to move forward. 
So if our people are not moving forward, if our people are go, getting worse and worse, then guess what? They're not in tune with God. You can look on every church, look on every corner in the black neighborhood and see a church everywhere, and obviously that's not working for our people. Because the babies are the ones, like I said, you old folks, y'all can step in the church all you want to, but the babies are getting worse. What difference do it make? The whole point of you being here is to influence them to do better. That's the whole point of being here, to put them back in tune with God so that our generation, our bloodline can open up and become those bright ones, those people who are in tune mentally with God, those people who are evolving into gods. See, because God is supposed to leave man and woman dominion on earth to be his physical representation. But see, you can't do that when you've got a bunch of demons out here who are pushing a message, right, who are serving someone else who don't look like them. You understand? Who has a vested interest in keeping our people mentally dead, who keep have a vested interest in, keep, in turning our children into a bunch of degenerate, right? who has a vested interest in lowering the mentality of our next generation to come. These people have a vested interest. Why? Because these people want to stay on top. You already know who I'm talking about. But you have a lot of black demons. You have a lot of black demons who are willing to help out for a, few, uh, for a fistful of dollars. They're willing to sell these people out for a fistful of dollars. Right? They're willing to sell out the people. They're willing to lower the, ignorant, lower the intelligence of the people, making our people a bunch of degenerates for a fistful of dollars. They, they're willing to contribute to it. Why? Because these people don't feel they're a part of this. That's, a, that's, that's the trait of a black demon. they individuals. They only want to be a collective or a group when they want to come amongst you and spread their, de, their demented ways, their demonic ways. That's when they want to come amongst you. That's when they want to be in the group. They, they'll, they'll come. You know, you, know, you know what the black demon does? The demon does this. He asks when he comes to an organization, like I said, how many people in the group? How many people you got in the group? He's not interested in joining the group unless there's a lot of people there so he can hide his demonic ways amongst the people. So he can come in or she can come in and start spreading all kinds of low-natured, low-minded, submental nonsense, ignorance, you know? It's not fun to a demon, right, if they're not able to come in and spread their nonsense. If they're not able to come in and start gossiping and talking crap and trying to lay up with everybody and trying to do this and trying to do that, they're not happy unless they can do that because that's not fun to them. If you're, not, if you're, trying, to, if you're trying to conduct yourself as a forward-thinking person, then the demons are going to leave. And you strong in that, the demons are going to leave because now it ain't fun to them. It ain't fun to them to not to get up in the church and start gossiping about people. It ain't fun to them to get up in there, uh, get up in the, uh, in, in there and start talking about people or doing whatever they do or laying up with this one or talking about this person clothes or doing this, that, and the third. It ain't fun with them. Their whole thing is to spread confusion, cause confusion, cause disunity. Because as I said, the, op the word confusion means against the fusion or against the coming together of a people. And your demons are big on that. Especially your demons who are, who are amongst this so-called conscious community today. The ones who are going around saying, oh, we don't need to come together. We don't need another movement. We don't need no more leaders. Those are demons. Those are a bunch of demons. Those are a bunch of demented Negroes. Straight up. I'm going to just say how it is. Raw and uncut. Those are a bunch of demented Negroes. We need each other. The intelligent ones of our people need each other more now than ever. They need, we need each other more now than ever. Our people always saying, oh, look at the Jews. Look at the Italians. They stick together. But then when we talk, talk about our people coming together, oh, we don't need to come together. We don't need another organization. We don't need no more black leaders. But you just sit up here and talk about, yeah, the Jews stick together. We all, you know, they stick together. But then when we talk about coming together, oh, we don't need another leader. We don't need no black this. We don't need no other. You're right. You're right about that. We don't need no more black leaders. We don't need no more black demons. We don't need no more mentally dead leaders. We need intelligent ones coming from amongst our people. People who are in tune mentally with God. That's what we bring in, in the state of mental. Those people who are mentally in tune with God. The station of mental telepathy. 
That's what the state of men tell us short for, the station of mental telepathy. And who are we mentally telepath, uh, mentally uh, tele- um, communicating with? God, the future race, our ascension. It's not a religion. I told you, if you, you ain't never heard this, this is not a religion. This is a reception. We are supposed to be receiving the intelligence of God in real time right now. The door is open. The gateway is opening. We're supposed to be coming together collectively, calling on the name of the true and living God, Amen. Not Amen Ra, not Amen Ray, not uh, 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 Haru and all that. The true and living God. But you're going to watch a lot of your demons. They're going to stand against it. They'll run up and say, oh, it's a religion. Oh, that's a religion. Oh, he's trying to start another religion. That's your demons. So if I'm starting another religion, like I said, what are you promoting? Oh, well, I want to go out and just teach the people. Uh, you know, I don't want to get people together, but I just want to teach the people. How is that helping the people? You got a lot of philosophers out there. See, because if you're not teaching the people collectively, then you're just another philosopher. You ain't no different. You ain't making no real impression on the people. If you're not teaching them together collectively, you're not making a real impression. You're not changing nothing because strength is in numbers. Reception, stronger reception comes in numbers and a group and a collective of people. But you got a lot of black demons who don't want, who don't get that. They don't understand it because they're not connected to God. They're trying to get a connection or they're trying to get an energy or a, a charge off of being around other people. They feed off other people's energy. You understand that? They make sure, they purposely will keep your mindset in a low state. You married to them. They're your girlfriend. They're your boyfriend. They're, some of them are your kids. Some of them are your parents. Some, like I said, they're your teachers, your historians, your cultural people. Because whenever you come into the equation and you start talking about, well, yeah, you know, I heard about Egypt. I heard about Africa. I heard about the Moors. But what are we going to do? How are we going to move forward? What's the new knowledge moving forward? Oh, brother, ain't no new, ain't nothing new under the sun. Oh, sister, ain't nothing new under the sun. Everything that's here is here. You know, what we studying, that's, that's it. That's a demon. That's a black demon. That's a demented person because, nigga, you got to be out your mind to teach that. You got to be out of your mind to teach that God only gave this intelligence or gave this information to you. And or just that's what God ended in as far as giving knowledge to the people. And that's it. You got to be out of your mind. That's a demented person. That's a person who's cut off from the intelligence of God. God don't work that way. God works to give people intelligence. God lives to give people intelligence. God lives to transmit intelligence to the people. And we are supposed to be in transmission with God, the people who are truly of God, uh, from God, I should say. Not of God, but from God. The people who are receiving transmission from God, not the people in submission, like in the church, like in the mosque, and the synagogue, and religion. Those people are in submission to God, which really is they're not really in submission to the God. They're in submission to a God, which is the white man. And I'm going to say it just like that. Man, black man, white man, they're in submission to man. they following rituals and customs of man. Those are your demons. Because your rituals and customs of man usually don't make no sense. That's how you know they are of man. That's real. Like I said, it's not a belief. We're not dealing with beliefs up here today. We're not dealing with uh, 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 concepts up here today. We're just dealing with raw and uncut truth. See, because, like I said, our people want to sit up here and say, talk about the problem with the black man and black woman is, uh, oh, we ain't got money, we ain't got enough this, we ain't got enough resource, we need some more politicians, we need some more land, we need our own country. No, that's not what it is. That's not the problem with our people. That is not the problem with our people. The problem with our people is we got too many black demons amongst us. That's the problem. And we don't want to sever our tie or our connection with the black demons. We want to keep them amongst us. We want to sit up here and talk this. We are the world, and we all could be together because we got the same skin complexion, so we all together. No, 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 no. Hell to the no. 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 Our problem is we don't know how to separate ourselves from our black trash, from our demented people, the ones who are, who are here to create this unity. We don't want to separate ourselves from those people. We want to stay amongst those people. We want to hang out with these people. We want to mesh ourselves in with these people. You understand that? See, the white man, he knows how to separate himself from his white trash. The people who are not forward thinking. 
He knows how to separate himself. I'll give him credit for that. The so-called black man, they don't know how to do that. The so-called black woman, you don't know how to do that. You don't know how to separate yourself from the mental garbage, from the demented people, the people who are only out here for themselves as individuals. who are not about the forward evolution of our people because, like I said, a lot of our people don't want to see us do better. A lot of our people don't want to see it. That's the truth. A lot of our people, like I said, they don't want to see us move forward. They want to see us keep going in the same circles and rituals. And it don't have to be somebody who's raging out of control. It could be that sister with the sweet voice. It could be that brother with the nice, calm demeanor because he's always saying stuff like, oh, well, you know, that that's kind of out there. I don't know if I, I, can, I, you know, I, I can really accept that, what he's saying. You know, it's kind of out there. Well, what did I, logically, what did I say that was wrong? Forget whether it bothers you or whether it disturbs you. You tell me logically and truthfully what I've said wrong tonight. You tell me logically and truthfully what I said. I don't care if it just disturbs you, because nine times out of ten, if the truth and logic disturbs you, then you're a demon. You are a straight-up demon. You are a straight-up demented person. You understand? You are a person who is straight-up disconnected from God, because God deals with logic and truth all day, all the time. Anybody that's against that, I don't care how I'm saying it, anybody that's against logic and truth, you're not with God. You're not in tune with God. You damn sure can't be God, nor are you an extension of God. You are out here following after man. You are a demon, straight up. You are demented. How can you not be plugged into the source of all true intelligence? How could you not be plugged in? How could you not be seeking to be plugged into the source of all true intelligence? When you saw our people back in Egypt, like I said, when they put Amun up, when they said Amun was the king of gods, and they put Amun up, you saw all this, all this intelligence flowing to our people. We built governments and, and castles. We built governments. We built all over the place. We built governments and systems and things like this. We were in power. Now you look at our people talking, looking back in America today. The ones who stuck in religion, they talking about, oh, the, the, uh, our people back then, the Sumerians, the Egyptians, were devil worshippers and all this other stuff. Oh, really? So who are the people of God? The people of God are the people who, who want to just live in poverty. These are the people of God, the people who want to stay living in poverty, following God, poverty gods. You understand? The poor, righteous teachers, the people who are sitting around here, that's that a person who believes that you demented. You're demented. You bought into that lie that God's people are supposed to be poor and raggedy and not be in power. You bought into that lie. They're not supposed to be the ones who are mentally in tune, the ones who are forward thinking and forward moving. You bought into the lie. You bought into the circle. Why? And it was easy to sell it to you because you were a demon anyway. You, you for anything that's not moving forward. A demon is for anything that's not moving forward. A demon is for anything that is keeping stupidity going in a circle. They love the rotation of stupidity. They love the rotation of ignorance. They feed off it. They the ones at the barbecue, at the family barbecue, everything is going peaceful. Then they come in there drunk. You know, that's that aunt that want to start a fight. She gossiping about somebody. She talking about the kids, they clothes. Uh, you know, she like the kids here. She the one, the aunt that say, oh, you know, uh, um, what's her name? Uh, 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 she don't even know who her daddy is. That's that aunt. She a demon. She'll say things in earshot of children to hurt their feelings, mess up their world. You understand that? Because they demented. They have mental problems. Like I said, you never hear nobody in the so-called conscious community or in the so-called uh, 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 um, sectors always talking about the black people. Problem. Nobody ever addresses the mental problem of our people. The only ones who address the mental problem was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad or Dr. Malachi Z. York. Those are the only two men I heard really address the mental problem of our people. Yeah, you had other people write books and talk about uh, Willie Lynch syndrome. Like I said, they scratched the surface. Right? No, see, those people who write those books about the mentality of our people, they want to sit up here and blame the white man for it. But I'm talking about the deep internal mental problems that our people have. And that deep internal mental problem that our people have is that they're disconnected from the mind of God. They're disconnected from the future state of that supreme being. They're disconnected from the intelligence of God. That's the internal problem our people have. You understand? That, don't tell me about the external problem of the white man because he's not the problem. 
No, he's not the problem. He only becomes the problem when our people are disconnected from God. See, when our people wasn't disconnected from God, he's not. When, when our people are connected to God, he's never a problem. He can't be a problem. But when our people are disconnected, he he becomes the problem. See, because now you've lowered yourself to a submental state to receive his suggestions, to receive his mindset. To have you out here uh, leaving your family behind, to have you out here leaving your children behind, to have you out here tattooing yourself up, smoking weed, getting drunk, getting high, doing all the things in the club, uh, um, selling your ass, doing whatever you're doing. Right? All that negativity, he, he opens the door for that because you fall into that submental state. He, you fall into that submental state, and these black demons are always there to catch you. They always there to catch you. They always there to catch you, and they're always there to keep you going in that circle of madness. They always there for that. See, a lot of our people, like I said, to them, this is spook talk. This is spiritual talk. And no, it's not spiritual talk. This is not spooky talk. This is real. This is dealing with a people who are vibrating on a low mental frequency, who are beneath the intelligence of God, who are, who are off God's radar. They're not raising that frequency high. So when you talk about people raising the bar, what does that really mean? That phrase, raise the bar. Lower the bar. What does the word bar mean? The word bar in Hebrew means law. Right? Bar. Like I said, pass the bar. Right? What is lowering the bar? That means lowering the intelligence. Because when you are in, t in tune with God, when you are in intelligent connection with God, there is a law that is established between you and God. There's a code of conduct, right? There is a way in which you carry yourself beyond others. You understand? That's raising the bar, right? Raising the God. But when you are lowering the bar, what are you doing? You're lowering your mind to the submental state. You open to suggestion. You open to all kind of low natured things. You become. You start hanging around the wrong people. You start hanging around more of these demons, these black demons, who have already who have already opened their minds of who have been open to receive the ignorance of mankind. They've opened themselves up for that, and they are below the influence of God. They are below the power of God. They are below the intelligence of God. They're not going to receive that intelligence, i.e., that inspiration. You know that inspiration where it tells you, don't be over here, go over there, because next thing you know, you, you go over there, or you didn't go over there, next thing you know, somebody got shot up over there. But those people who are below that, they go over there and hang out with them people, and they get shot up and they die. Right? That's the intelligence of God. That's the connection with God. A lot of our people call it ancestors, right? Family. Well, what is the ancestors if not God, if not extensions of God? What are the ancestors if not extensions of God? That's all God. People from God. A God force, a God family. If you're not hearing the message, then you are not of God. You are of the demented ones. If you are latching on to this philosophy out here, this new age nonsense, so-called new age, ain't nothing but old age. It's all old age, something that uh, concepts of mankind, which they dusted off and brought back out and called it another name. That's what that. Now that's not new under the sun. None of his concepts are new under the sun. That's true. Man's concepts are not new under the sun. But God, the supreme intellectual being, he's always bringing new things in from beyond the sun. And you hear in the people the instruments of his intelligence because they're always the gateway to bringing new things in. That's why you would, you know that's what made the Honorable Elijah Muhammad different. That's what made Dr. Malachi Z. York different because they were gateways and instruments to God's intelligence. You understand that? And you had a lot of black demons, their so-called quote-unquote contemporaries, the people that was around your so-called historians and cultural people. They didn't like. Donald Boy lied to mom. They didn't like Dr. York because they were jealous. It was jealousy. Your black demons are some of the most jealous people on the planet. That's why I put the image of Sam Jackson up there, Samuel L. Jackson up there, as Stephen from Django. 
perfect image of a perfect image of a black demon. What happened when he walked onto the um to he saw Jamie Foxx sitting in the carriage, riding in the carriage. What that nigga doing in the carriage? Uh, why I can't I, don't, I ain't never rode no oh, no carriage. That's the demon mentality. It's always based on it, the, the, they operate off of jealousy, ignorance. They want to destroy you. They hate you. Because they see something in you that's forward moving. What do you see in Jamie Foxx's character? Now, like I said, people say it's a movie, but that's a very real thing. When they see younger people, especially your demons, when they see younger people, they see something in you. They see a light in you that's different from everybody else. They see you ain't walking around in some dark, dreary state that's moving in a circle. They see a light in you. They see an intelligence in you, and they want to put that light out. That's what the demon does. He sees that intellect in you. He sees that intelligence in you. You understand that? He sees that. He sees that there's something different about you from the other niggas in the hood, and they don't like that. That drives them up the wall because they don't have that thing in them. They miserable. They were born void. They were born void of God's intelligence. That's why they got to stay in the hood and all they can do is smoke weed all day or try to be a rapper or a damn basketball player or just get out and get a job and be some handkerchief head Negro in society who ain't doing nothing but repeating a bunch of man-made philosophies and concepts. That's all the demons can do. They want to shut the door. They want to shut the gateway off. Don't believe a lot of these people when they say amongst our people who claim they want to be free. They want to be free of the so-called white man. No, you know what they really mean when they want to be free? You know what they really mean? Because these are a lot of your black demons. I'm going to tell you what they mean. Hmm. They want to be free of responsibility. They want to be free of law. They want to be free to roam and rob and rape and steal and kill and do all this stuff. That's And they hate the white man because he doesn't allow them to do it. The white man controls their movements. He doesn't allow our people, the majority of our people, the black demons, to be lawless. That's really the freedom these niggas want. I'm going to just say it like it is. I'm, t- I'm You know, when our people always talk about freedom, why, you know, are they talking about freedom as in going to another country and setting up another nation? No, they're not talking about that kind of freedom. Are they talking about freedom to uh, move about and do what they want? No, they're not talking about that. Why? Because they can do that. They can move about. They can go to another country. They can go to a depressed, impoverished country and set up another um, thing. No, you know the freedom all people want? You know why they hate the white man? Because they can't act like savages. They can't do what they really want to do. The majority of our people, they you see that mentality that was going on in L.A. after in the riots after Rodney King? You see the uh, the madness that was going on in New Orleans? That's what a lot of our people want to do. That's a lot what a lot of the black, the so-called black race really wants to do. Because they demons. They demented. They against order. They against law. You understand? They against the law. And God set the law in motion. God set order and structure in motion. Now if you can't understand God setting order and structure in motion, if you don't get that, then you damn sure can't be of God. You can't be of God. You damn sure can't follow God. You can't say claim you are God. If you claiming that, oh, well, you know, I'm God, brother, but you're not trying to restore order in your neighborhood. You're not trying to teach the babies. You're not trying to stop this madness. You're just walking through here, going to work every day, doing just like everybody else who's mentally dead. Then you're not God. You're just a regular man. You're just barely making it as a man. See, because God comes on the scene and makes a difference. Those people who got who carry the um, intelligence of God or the um, the mindset of God, they come and make a difference. They come on the scene and make a difference. They're the ones that come on the scene and make a difference. They don't come up here and do what everybody else been doing. Because, like I said, when you see, you see the people who are of God or who calling themselves God, they out in the world making a difference. If you're not making a difference in the world, then like I said, you're not God. You're demented. Either you are of God, either you are, should I say, from God, either you are the God race or of the God race or from the God race, or you are demented. You are a demon, straight up. There's no in-betweens no more. There's no in-betweens. Either you are of the God race or you're demented. You're a demon. 
Straight up. Ain't no more in betweens. Ain't no oh well I'm I'm just searching and I'm I'm no ain't no I'm just searching for nothing. Either you searching to move ahead or you just want to keep going in circles. Forward or in circles. God moves forward. Demons move in circles. Demons move in circles with groups. And they always looking to attract other demons, other demented ones, or they're looking to drive people in a demented mind state. They want to keep you disconnected from God. That's their whole purpose on the planet, to keep you disconnected from the true intelligence of God. Because mankind knew that the true intelligence of God would come back to the planet. And the majority of our people will reject the intelligence of God. See, you never heard God being presented this way as an intelligent one. As an intelligent man. And most of our people are ignorant to the intelligence of God, which makes them demons, demented. That's why they walk around with sour looks on their face, angry. Just like that picture Sam Jackson had, he had that simple-minded look on his face, that sour oatmeal face. Because that's, that's always the look the dummy in the class have on his face when he don't understand something. He walk around mad, he a bully, he angry because, he, like I said, he don't understand. So what do you want to do? The, the kids that do understand, he calls them nerds. He wants to beat them up. He wants to fight them because he mad he can't be one of them. He want to be the bully. You understand that? I, I, I'm going I'm to share one of my own personal experiences. I ran into a guy that um, I went to junior high school with. Now, this guy, he used to always hate me for some reason. I ain't did nothing to him, right? He used to hate me. Now, this guy saw me the um, other week. I was uh, He drives a bus now, right? And I was delivering water. I had my own beverage business. I, you know, we deliver water and gallons of alkaline water and iced tea. Now, this guy sees me, right? And, I mean, for years, every time he sees me, he always have a mad face because we got in fights when I was younger, and I beat him up two times, right? And... You know, he said to me, like I said, I was surprised because when I seen him, and here it is, I'm, I'm in my 40s. I seen him. We both in our 40s. I seen him. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring that he gonna give me the, the mean look and whatnot and everything. And I'm just figuring like, you know, I'm about to ready to knuckle up. I'm like, cause I, I'm just so used to it. whenever I see him, I'm, I'm on my guard. And we grown men. I see him, and you know what he says to me? He said, hey, man, what you doing around here? I said, I'm you know, making a delivery. Delivering my, I got my own beverage business, and when I'm making delivery, he goes, oh, well, you never, you was never stupid. You was never dumb. I was like, wow. He said, that's good, man. You was never dumb. I was like, wow. That proved everything. That proved everything he was saying. That proves everything I was saying. You know? He was at that time demented. So now I guess he's at peace now that he's driving the bus. He found his purpose in life. You know, maybe he's a little more content. But your demented people come out of an ignorant mindset. Your demented people, your demons, they come out of an ignorant mindset. They don't understand. They don't get the big picture. They don't understand the intelligence of God. They become black in their minds. They become those who are absent of light, who are absent of understanding comprehension. They don't understand the intelligence of God. They're the ones in the darkness who, comp- who do not comprehend the light. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness comprehended it not. That's a great analogy for the bright ones amongst our people who are shining within the black race, because the black race doesn't comprehend this. You understand? The black race, the majority of our people don't comprehend the intelligence of God. That's why they're demons. That's why they're demented. They don't get it. They're lost. They're mentally dead. And those of our people who are lost and mentally dead, they're going to be off. They're going to be off key. This is the problem with our people. If we miss out If we miss out on this intelligence, we got nobody to blame but ourselves. We're trying to move forward as a a new people. 
as a new and intelligent people after the order of God. That's what the people who are supposed to be in this day and time in the new millennium, it's not about church no more in the new millennium. It's not about church. See, because all the demons came to the church already. It's not about church no more. It's not about uh, it's not about Christianity no more. It's not about Islam no more. It's not about uh, Israelitism no more because all the demons came in. All the demented people came in there. They were attracted to those rituals. You tell me, where all the demons that they come into those things? They attracted to those rituals. No, it's supposed to be about right now, about the community and a people who are coming after the order of God who are following the orders of God, who are following the intelligence of God, a people who are mentally in tune with God, who are receiving connection, mental connection and inspiration to move forward as a new group of people, an advanced people. That's how God's intelligence works. That's how God connects with man and woman. And that's how he's supposed to be connecting with our people in this day and time. We're supposed to be the first and foremost new people moving forward after the order of God. See, this government, the white man, he wanted to be the first one to move forward in the, um, by, with the intelligence of God. That's why he kept talking about a new world order, a new world order, a new world order. He kept saying it because he was expecting to receive some new intelligence from God to move him forward so that he can keep continue controlling our people, the mentality of our people. And he's still receiving it. This is not a black and white thing. This is a mental thing. This is not a black and white thing. I'll repeat this because I'm not a racist. This is a mental thing. This is a mental connection. This is about people who are mentally in tune versus people who are demented, people who are out of tune. That's what this is about. People who are mentally in tune versus people who are mentally out of tune. Right? That's how God works. See, because the people who are mentally out of tune, they're going to keep you moving with customs. They're going to keep you going in circles. They're going to keep you in the church uh, asking you for handouts. They're going to keep you in there passing a plate around, talking about nothing, sitting you in church all day listening to sermons where the reverend just saying a few verses out of the Bible just so he, you know, and just to have something to say in between passing a plate around. That's what you come into church for. They, you, you can stay home. If you, could, if you could hand your wallet in, you could just go ahead and stay home. You, could, you can give them your bank account number. You go ahead and stay home. See, that's how that works. Those are people who are demented. Those are people who want you in the church. They want you in religion. They don't want you following the intelligence of God. You understand that? They don't want you following the intelligence of God. They don't want our people, our men and our women in the future, this future generation, this future ascension, coming up and raising up in the, after the power, after the intelligence of God. They don't want to create or bring about a God-like people. See, it's one thing to talk about God, like I said, and that started in religion when we started disconnecting ourselves from God. That's one thing that was meant, that was done by your demons, your, your demented people to start trying to disconnect us from God by saying God was, uh, God was separate from us, that we wasn't a part of God so they could move us further away from God. That's what your demons do. They want to make God a spirit. They want to make God unseen. They want to try to do everything gradually to move God out of the equation, so that we don't have a guide. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have any purpose anymore. So now we left here, trying to fight it out with man, trying to ingest his mindset, ingest his concepts, his religion, his beliefs, and now we destroy. This is the mentality. This is the mentality. Our people got to come back in tune mentally with God. A lot of our people don't want to hear this. They want to, you know what our people want to hear? They want their minds blown. They want metaphysics. They want this. They want that. Those are your demons. Those are your demons. They want to take, they want to talk about the science of God, but they want to take God out of the equation. They'll talk about the science of God. They'll talk about all these sciences, metaphysics, Big Bang Theory, uh, 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 multiversities, and multiverse, multi multiverses, and all this other nonsense. They'll talk about all these science, so-called pseudosciences, right? But they take God out of the equation. Where did all these sciences come from? They don't want to deal with the source. 
They go, oh, well, brother, you know, you're going to turn a lot of people off if you talk about God. That we, well, that's the plan. We want to turn them off. We don't want them amongst us because they are the people who will keep you disconnected from God. Those are your demons. Those are your demons. We want to turn them off. We don't want them listening to us. Like I said, this is not the church. The church will take anybody. We don't want everybody with us because God deals with the elect. God deals with the people that can hear his intelligence and hear his voice. That's who God deals with. God don't deal with everybody. So when you see everybody in the church, you see all these Christians, black, white, all over the world, Asian, whatever. You see all these Muslims, Asian, black, white, all over the world. Or you see these people calling themselves Jews or Israelites all over the world. These are the people, and all these, uh, so many of them, these are the people who are disconnected from God. They follow in the traditions of man. Because the first thing out of their mouth is, oh, that's an Abrahamic religion. That's Abraham's religion. Or this is this person's religion. Or it's that person. What happened to God? Or that we following Jesus. We trying to be Christ-like. Who runs that belief? Who feeds off of the belief of man? Trying to put man in the position. Demons. Straight up demons. People who are demented. People who are disconnected from God. We'll be right back. I want to play a little bit of music. You know... The only people that are not going to like this talk tonight or this type of speech tonight are going to be your demons. Your black demons are going to hate this kind of talk. See, because the only reason a lot of them come into this chat room or listen to my broadcast is they come in here and they're looking for people to talk to, people to uh, um, to get, try to get on their side to hate against what I'm saying. They do it all the time. Because my thing is if you don't like what I'm saying, then leave. Don't listen to me. I told you I don't I don't want you people listening to me. I don't I don't need you to listen to me. I don't need your kind of audience. You understand? I don't need you. I I, I don't want everybody with, we don't want everybody within the state of mental. We don't want everybody after the order of God because everybody's not fit mentally to be after the order of God. A lot of y'all have closed your minds to the intelligence of God. You've opened your minds to the um to foolishness of man. You understand? You show you how demented the black man is and demented the black woman is today. Like I said, they'll sit up here and stick up for homosexuality and lesbianism and marching parades. And see, like I said, they'll tattoo themselves up. You see our people all the way. You going to tell me our people are not demented today? Listen to the music they listen to. You going to tell me they're not demented? They're not off? They don't took a sharp turn from this, the beautiful soul music and the jazz and all the beautiful music they produce. Look at them now. Look at the music they listen to now. Listen to look at the influences. Look at the demons now that are coming out with this music. The demented ones. You understand? They're not standing up and speaking out for this. None of your so called black churches and organizations, they ain't standing up and speaking up for it. none of your so called religious organizations ain't standing up and speaking out against none of this. Hell, we spent standing up and speaking out and we pointing it out to why to separate the intelligent ones of our people from this madness. We're not doing it because we, like I said, we're trying to uh, convince some demons because they already made their mind up. We, the demented people are already mentally gone. The demented people are mentally dead. They're just being used as an instrument in the society by the powers to be to pull more of our people down to help lower, to help lower the mental frequency of our people so that they're not receiving God's intelligence. That's what they're doing. That's what they're here for. They're here to lower the mental frequency, and the people that had a problem with what I've been saying tonight don't listen. Obviously, I struck a nerve. You understand? Like I said, go every that these these black demons, these black demented people, they prove everything I say all the time. Because why would you come in here and listen? And that person that was listening in the chat room, you went Beasley, whatever your name is. This ain't the first time you heard my broadcast. Now all of a sudden, oh, I don't like the way it is. Yeah, you didn't like the frequency going through my voice. Because this is God's intelligence coming through. You understand? God has come to separate the people. God didn't come to bring people together. God came to separate the people. God came to cause a separation. God didn't come to bring people together. He came to separate his people and separate the other people, the people that are going to be under the beast, under the submental um, way of thinking of the beast. He came to separate those people. He didn't want us together with them. He don't want the bright ones of his people to be with the black race. 
You understand? Because look at the damn black race today. They ain't nothing but a bunch of carbon copy versions of the white race. And I'm not even talking about the good ones in the white race. I'm talking about the degenerate ones. See, because our people always want to talk about the white man this and the white man that. Like I said, you don't never follow the white people that's trying to do something in the world. You always follow the degenerate ones. You follow the white trash. And when the, then the black trash gets demented and, the, and they start following the white trash, so like I said, then they try to pull everybody with them. Next thing you know, the whole black race is going right with the black, so-called black race is going with the black trash, and they we all in darkness again. There's no more purpose for our people anymore. You understand that? Then you got these simple-minded Negroes that go, oh, well, brother, why you got to be like that? Why you got to say it like this? You know, I mean, we ain't that bad. Or, you know, it's not like you're saying, brother, why you got to be preaching to us? Ain't nobody preaching to you. I'm not here to preach to my people. I'm not preaching to nobody. I'm not interested in saving saving those souls. We're not doing that. You understand? We taking the bright ones of our people. We separating them from the dead ones of our people. We taking mentally the ones who've been the ones who are bright, the intelligent ones, and separating them from the ignorant ones. That's all. The mentally dead, the demented, the ones who are disconnected. That's all. God's work is to cause the separation of his bright people, his intelligent ones, the ones who are in tune. His job is to bring about people who are instrumental in causing the separation, not the people who are trying to bring us all together. So we're supposed to be together with the scum and the filth and the weed smokers and the tattooers and the mosh pit Negroes and all this other nonsense. You understand that? The dope pushers and everybody, we're supposed to be with everybody? The, the rappers who selling your kids all kind of negative messages. We supposed to be with the demons, the demented ones. Hell, we living amongst them right now. That's why you don't see the so called black race going anywhere, because that mentality is deep within the so called black community. That demented mindset is deep within the black community. It's heavily uh, on the mind of the so called black community. It's been embedded in them like a virus. And it's feeding on the intelligence of our people, the little intelligence we got left. So what do you do? You got to quarantine the bright ones, the smart ones. You understand? The ones who have a hope, who have a chance, and move them away. So all these Negroes who are out here talking about, oh, what, what you trying to do? Ain't no hope for our people. What you trying to do? Everybody on trial. You a demon. We're not listening to you. You a demon. Because if you're not standing up for God, and the forward motion and the movement of our people away and the separation away from the mentally dead, then you with them. There's no in-between. There's no, oh, I'm a good sister. Uh, oh, I'm a good brother. I mean, I don't participate in that. What are you doing to help in the evolution and the raising of God's people by way of his intelligence? Not in no religion, not in no spiritual talk, but real work to raise the intelligence of God's people, to help bring his people together collectively. What are you doing? If you're not living for that, if that's not your purpose, then you would, then you in the world, man. You following the demons. You following the demented people. God didn't send our people here. We wasn't brought here on the planet to just come here, have sex, have children, work nine to fives, and, and raise up the kids and die. That's not what we came here for. We came here to further God's intelligence and move the people forward. That's our purpose on earth. And if I didn't know that was true, I wouldn't stand up here doing that. I wouldn't stand up here uh, making, my, making this my life. Because certain people are born to do certain things. Certain people who already have the mark of God on them, who already have God's intelligence in their head flowing through them like a lightning rod, these are the people that are going to move things forward. These are the people of God. But the people of man, they out here, like I said. They out here to listen to the Jay-Z record. They out here to smoke weed. They out here to go to the club and party. They up here to get prayed up. They here to be in the church. They here to go to their job. All kind of stupidity. All kind of folly. All things to waste time and not be about the evolution of God. Because that's what God sent us here for. He sent man here to do all that other stupid nonsense. He didn't send his people here to do that. He sent mankind here to do that and be in submission. He didn't send us here for that. He sent us here to keep the intelligence, move his intelligence forward and keep law on the planet, keep order on the planet as biological people, keep his biological law and order intact. That's what we're supposed to be here to do, not sit around here and live for this world. 
because he's about to take everything out of existence in the world, and it's coming down because a new order is coming in. You ain't got to accept what I'm saying. That's fine. You ain't got to accept what I'm saying. You can sound like the rants of a crazy man all you want, and you can think that. But like I said, whatever's going through our people today, like I said, whatever ignorance is going through our people that you see, you can't deny what's going on with our people today. What's the answer to what's going on to our people all day? Some of our people say, oh, well, you know, ain't nothing wrong. If you don't think it's nothing wrong, then you demented. Something's wrong with you. If you don't think it's nothing wrong with our people, then something's wrong with you. Straight up. If you don't think there's anything wrong with the black man as a homosexual, the black woman's a lesbian, y'all tattooed all up, y'all listening to rock music now, y'all throwing each other around in mosh pits and pushing each other on the dance floor, y'all sitting up here uh, uh, drinking codeine and cough syrup and smoking blunts and, and laced with acid and all kind of other nonsense, you don't think nothing wrong with your kids? You don't think there's nothing wrong with the future generation or you just don't care? You don't think there's nothing wrong, then you demented, you a demon. You're a straight-up demon. And if you're not trying to aid and doing nothing about it, then you're still a demon. God didn't send our people here to sit on the bench and sit by and watch our people. It's like this. If your baby, if your child was walking toward a, 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 um, a train that was coming or walking into oncoming traffic, right, would you not run in front of your child and stop them from walking into un- oncoming traffic, Right? You would try to save your children. That's the same mentality you should have as a person who's supposed to be in tune with God. You're supposed to be trying to save the future generation, the ones of our children who can be saved, mentally saved, and be put back in tune with God. And I'm not talking about no saved in the church. Oh, I'm saved, brother. I'm not talking about no saved in the church. You understand that? Because you got homosexuals and lesbians and all that. They talking about they saved. But they still doing what they doing. That's just a word. I'm saved. I could, in other words, then we know what that means. I could keep doing what I'm doing. I could still keep being a degenerate. But uh, God will forgive me. You a demon if you believe that. Because that type of doctrine caters to you. No responsibility. No, no uh, accounting for what you did. You could just come, just break all the laws, break all the rules God put in motion, the biological laws and everything. That's all you can. That's you could just do that, and you, uh, God will forgive me. Who taught? Who said that? Who taught that? A demon taught that in your church. You ain't got to follow. Oh, those laws they don't mean nothing. Those rules, those those biological laws don't mean nothing that God set in motion. Just 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 do, it, do what you got to do and just get prayed up in here. Give me your wallet and and, and then go on back out, sing some hymns, and you saved. Only a demon would teach that. Only a person who would be disconnected from God would teach that madness. You understand? Only a person who's disconnected mentally from God would teach that madness. Ain't that all in the church? You don't hear them speaking out on none of this stuff no more, right? Because they've been bought off. They've been paid off. You understand? They cater into the ignorance. They're a bunch of demons. Your reverend is a demon. Your imam is a demon. Your minister is a demon. Why? Because they are against the intelligence of God. God deals with forward thinking, forward moving, new intelligence on the earth. So if your minister, your imam, your rabbi, whoever, your religious leader, your your cultural your cultural baba, and all, whatever the hell y'all um, titles you give these people, if they not moving it, if they not moving the knowledge forward. If they're not being inspired by on high to move the knowledge forward, then they're not in tune with God. If they keep y'all going in a bunch of rituals where you come into church on Sunday and you praying and y'all singing some songs and you passing the plate around and that's it, that's your life, they're a bunch of demons. Because God don't deal with it. God don't work that way. The real God don't work that way. The fake God that they, 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 they um, make up in the church, that's how he works. The fake con- conceptual God that they made up in their church, that's how he worked. You know, you can just come into church, come as you are, you know, uh, come come be a part of us. You know, uh, the plate going to go around a few times. You know, make sure you put something in the plate now. And uh, go ahead and go, go on and may God be with you. 
right? That that's that's yeah, yeah. That that really helped a lot. That helped a lot, right? Or these these men that go there, they just trying to get some women. They trying to get laid. That's what they in there for. They trying to get laid. That's that that yeah. There you go. That's your demons. Demons. These are this this what you want to go and be a part of every Sunday. You understand? That's what you want to be. Our people want to be a part of every Sunday. They want to be part of hypocrisy every Sunday. That shows you the majority of our people have become demons, a bunch of demented people, a people who are lost mentally and disconnected from God mentally. Because like I said, God works on the intelligence of man and woman. God raises us to follow the order that he set forward. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. The majority of our people, well, we're doing it in the state of mental, but the majority of our people are not doing it. And the majority of our people are not going to feel this kind of conversation. They're not going to like this because they're demons. Oh, brother, why are you so serious? Why are you got look, – look at our people. Uh, you, you mean to tell me you're not serious? You think it's a time for jokes? Look at our people. Look at the condition of our people. It done got worse, and it's getting worse about a day. But we're not supposed to get serious? Huh? We supposed to walk around like a bunch of Jolly Rancher Negroes, uh, like everything is all good, bunch of Buzz Lightyear niggas. I'm gonna say it just like that. Everything is a joke. Everything is cartoon character. Everything is stupidity. Everything is the club. Everything is foolishness. You understand? Everything is spiritual talk. Everything is everything is oh you know well why you gotta say it like that brother that disturbs my spirit oh brother that brother the way he talk it disturbs my spirit. That's because you a demon sister, you a demon. Straight up, you demented. How can the truth disturb your so called spirit? How can the truth disturb you? You tell me what did I say that was any did I say anything that was a lie tonight? Did I say anything that didn't even sound right tonight, logically? Just because you didn't like it, because it, it, it interferes with what you want to believe, but your beliefs come from man. Your beliefs are not helping our people. Our people need the hardcore truth and reality about how God is dealing with our people and the fact that he's not dealing with our people because we fell out of tune with God mentally. We're not in tune with God mentally. We fell out of tune with him. You understand? That's why he's not dealing with our people today. That's why when you see your the black young black men getting shot down in the hood, getting beat up by the police, getting all these things happening to them, getting hung up on, um, getting hung again by the Ku Klux Klan, because God ain't dealing with our people no more. Why? Because we fell into a state of, of of ignorance. We became a bunch of demons. So once you fall beneath the intelligence of God, guess what? You fall prey to man. You fall prey to man. What do they tell you in the church? Oh, just pray. Or do they mean just be pray for man? Pray or be pray. Because who are you really praying to? Who's listening to your prayers? Because nine times out of ten, when you're praying, you're begging for something. you asking for something for yourself. You're not, you're not sincere. Half y'all don't even believe in what you're saying or who you're talking to. Because if you did, you would be you would be doing something totally different. You would be an instrument of God's intelligence. Not sitting up here passing along a bunch of beliefs of men that don't even make no sense. Because God makes sense all the time. The most high, the supreme being, the supreme intellectual being, the true and living God who walked the earth as a man makes sense all the time. Not part of the time. Not when you feel like it, what you like or what you don't like. It's not about what you like and don't like. It's about what the truth is. I said on Facebook, I said the truth is not good and the truth is not bad. It's necessary. The truth is not good and it's not bad. It's necessary. See, necessity is beyond good and bad. Truth is beyond good and bad. You understand? Truth is above belief because in the word belief you see the word lie. Truth is beyond belief. See, because if I tell you the truth, then you can't, you have no other choice but to accept it. But if I get you to believe something, there's always that doubt there. That's how your demented people work. That's how your black demons work. 
They work off of that reasonable doubt. They work off of that belief. That's why they always end up becoming reverends. They are becoming ministers, imams. They become religious figures really fast because the whole point is to straight to lead you astray mentally, to take from you. And what do they take from you? They say they call your money currency, right? They call your money currency. What is current? What is currency? Current currency is short for the word current, which means what? Power. Right? When you don't have any money to do things in society, what happens? What happens? You fall out and you come you fall into a sluggish state. You can't pay bills, you're depressed. Therefore producing a depression. Was there not a great depression when the currency wasn't flowing, when the power wasn't flowing through the people, the so called currency, aka the money wasn't flowing through the people, was there not a great depression? Wasn't people running around here depressed, killing themselves? Is that not induced by a bunch of demons? Yes. A bunch of demented people, a people who are mentally uh, are me mentally disconnected from God. Because when you see people, when you say those people are mentally disturbed, when you see people like that, where they're sitting in a sane asylum, they're sitting in a uh, uh, um, G building, a Bellevue, wherever the hell they're sitting at, they're sitting in these hospitals and these mental wards, these people are disconnected from God. See, what happened was the bar was lowered. And I said in the old Hebrew word, the word bar means law. The bar was lowered. You understand? When you become a lawyer, what they say, you pass the bar. Right? You pass the law. You understand and comprehend the law. But in the old word, in the old Hebrew word, the word bar meant law. Who set the law forward? Who set the codes of conduct? Who set all these things forward? God. He passed the laws on to man. How could he pass the laws on to man? He passed them on to man physically and mentally. So we're supposed to be following the order of God. Now, if the black man and black woman today is saying there is no God, then that means what? What follows after you saying there is no God? That follows what? A bunch of lawless people. A bunch of people who selling drugs, robbing and stealing and killing, doing anything for money to get that power back or that currency in their hand. And they start serving who? The beast. Because, like I said... That's the, when that that's what happens when our people get disconnected from God mentally. They become demented. They start doing things outside their character. They go from bright and intelligent people to black people, people in darkness, people in a state of ignorance. Because when I said black people, I said nobody is black. Nobody is truly black. So when I'm talking about black people, I'm talking about people who are ignorant versus people who are intelligent, bright people. There is no such thing as a black-skinned people. Everybody's brown. So let's get this straight. When people say, hear me talking about black, they think I'm making a negative, negative or derogatory term to a so-called quote-unquote black people, but there is no such thing as black-skinned people. When they referred to our people, the white man referred to our people as black, he was talking about our people being mentally dead or ignorant. He wasn't talking about our this, the complexion or the color of our skin because our skin is clearly not black. It's brown. He was calling us black as an insult, but you know a lot of simple-minded Negroes took that and ran with it, and now y'all walking around talking about, I'm black. I'm proud to be black. You might as well say you're proud to be ignorant. You might as well say you're proud to be demented. It was an insult on our people, but we missed that. Why? Because we had a lot of demented people sitting up here. Dictating things to us, telling us, oh, what this really means or what that really means. Or, brother, you know, you don't really know what that means. You know, you don't know what it means to be black. You understand? I know what it means. It means ignorance amongst our people. Right? Separation. Nonsense. We're going to play a little bit of music. I'll be right back. We're down to our last 30 minutes. I want to say, those of you who are listening to this broadcast, tomorrow in Brooklyn, New York, those of you who are listening to this broadcast, tomorrow in Brooklyn, New York, those of you in the tri-state area in New Jersey, you're free to come out to the um, True God Revealed. That's the uh, reception that I'm going to be doing tomorrow at uh, in Brooklyn, New York at 1368 Fulton Street. You'll see the cars flashing up there. Um, the invitation is out for our people, the bright ones of our people, because it's time to start revealing God as he truly is logically and biologically. 
It's time to start revealing the truth about God, who he is logically and biologically, biologically so we can start making our reception with God again because we haven't been doing it in these religions. These religions have been doing nothing but jerking our people around and playing games with us. You understand? Taking money out of our pockets and conning us and turning out a bunch of demented people, a bunch of black demons. So we'll be right back. I'm going to tell you something funny. You know, a lot of people said, um, oh, you know, this guy sounds kind of preachy and he sounds religious and things like that. Most of the people that say that, what strikes me funny is most of these people, they they church people, they religious people that say that. Why isn't that the reverend sounds churchy and preachy? He's not talking about nothing. But when I'm talking about the actual uh, uh, situation of our people today, why all of a sudden the people turned off? Right, the wrong. Well, but, but you know what? That's the the right people are going to get turned off. We want to turn off a lot of our people, but at simultaneously, we're going to turn on the right ones of our people. This whole point this is to turn off the wrong people and turn on the right ones. This message of mentalite is meant to turn off the wrong people and turn on the right ones, right? Because that's how you get the best people. That's how you get the people who are mentally in tune. The people who ain't coming here to play games. The people who are not here, who not who, who really not receiving the intelligence of God. The people who are here to just be here for stupidity and folly. The demons. You know, the sick, the simple-minded ones. The people who have no purpose in life. All these people who got so much to say against me, the intellectual new Dimenkares, the people that got so much to say against me, ask them, well, what are you doing for your people? What is your purpose in life? See, I know what mine is. I can tell you the spot on the spot. The people who are connected to God, have a purpose in life. They can tell you what their purpose is. Right? My my purpose is to spread the intelligence of God to my people, his bright ones, and bring his people back together collectively. You understand that? To be an instrument of God to bring his people, the collective bright ones, um, back together or together to move forward. To be an instrument of God's evolution. To be an instrument of God's intelligence. Amen. The true and living God. That's my purpose here. Now, you ask the people who say that, oh, I'm preaching or that I'm starting a religion. What is what is your purpose here? Right? Your purpose shouldn't be to listen to me. You know? What What is your purpose here if not that? That's that's my purpose. That's our purpose in the state of Mintel, to raise the, evol- raise the intelligence of our people, find our people, find our missing, like that show on uh, TV1, find our missing, the, intel- the intelligent ones, the bright ones who are out there because God's chosen people are out here. The bright race, the mentalians, the, the elect that are spoken about in the book of Revelations are out here scattered amongst the world. So the, our job is to find them. It's not to raise the black man and black woman because y'all already dead, man. Y'all already a bunch of demons. The majority of our people are demons, man. You understand? Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no hope for the majority of our people. You see this, you see it every day. People say, "Oh, this brother being harsh. She calling us demons. How you gonna say that?" Well, like I said, the ones who are of the truth, the ones who are who are who are, who are, who are from God, who have carry the truth, they know what I'm saying is the truth. The ones who denying it, y'all a bunch of demons. You just don't want the light shined on you because obviously that struck nerves with people. See, you can sit up here and talk about all the history. You could talk about the culture. You could talk about uh, um, you could talk about well, you could talk about the history, the culture, uh, um, metaphysics, the sciences, and whatnot. But what about the mentality of our people? What about the mentality? That's more important than any of that stuff you're talking about. Because if our people's minds are not right, they're not going to be able to understand or truly understand or have an ultra standing of that. Yeah, and that's our word, ultra standing in the state of mental. That means a complete comprehension. You understand? Our people are not going to be able to have an ultra standing of that. If you don't fix the mindset of the people or raise the mentality of the people, then talking about politics, talking about uh, 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 economics, talking about uh, religion, talking about anything, uh, culture, anything, all that's off the table because their minds are messed up anyway. Because the people who are teaching this stuff, their minds are messed up. The people who are talking this, their minds are messed up. So how are you going to listen to them? Look at what our people, the so-called intelligent ones of our people, gather around in the so-called conscious community to listen to. You understand? Listen, look at the people they're listening to and listen, look at the people they, they, that they pay to see. That shows you the intelligence of the people. That proves that the minds of our people are messed up. That proves it. 
that proves that the minds of our people are messed up. Look who you paying to go see. Look who you running to places, to packing in places to go see. Look what our people are packing in to see. Bunch of loud mouth, off the, a uh, bunch of loud mouth demented niggas. That's that's what we gonna be somebody real about. A bunch of loud mouth demented niggas, screaming and cussing up a storm, talking about nothing. Young, young, speaking all fast and trying to like sound like rappers, trying to be slick and hip. You understand? Bunch of double talk. You understand? Not touching, speaking on the intelligence of the people, raising the intelligence of the people up, raising it toward God's intelligence, putting them on a God level, not dealing with that. No, we're gonna just get in the room and, and, and spit some spit some knowledge about how many books I don't wrote, how many books I don't read, who I'm studying, and, and cursing people out and slandering people. That's what our people flock into rooms to listen to now. A bunch of demons are putting on shows to gather in the people and lower the mentality. Because when they you know, they make it seem like it's about money. No, it's about mentality. It's not about money. It's about mentality. Because if you lower the mentality of a people, you got an audience forever. That's what they do in the church. You lower the mentality of the people. You lie to them. You lower their mentality beyond the intelligence of God, uh, uh, underneath the intelligence of God. You feed them a bunch of subliminal and submental suggestions of your own that make no logical sense. Then you have, an intel- you have a group of people that will follow you forever. See, I could have did that. The intellectual Nubin Minkari is smart enough to craft up something if I really wanted to. If I really wanted to start a church or a religion or create a super big following, I could do that. That's easy. See, what's hard is being an instrument of God's intelligence and putting it out the way you're being charged to put it out. You understand that? Bringing in this future order. That's hard. See, anybody can get up here, like I said, anybody can get up here and, and, and spit some knowledge and, 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 and talk about the white man and blame the white man for everything and do all that. But when you start dealing with um, holding off people accountable, when you start putting them up and saying, well, what about this? What about this in the hood? Why is Raheem and them like this in the hood? Why is why is uh, 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 um, uh, um, uh, Monica pregnant? Why is she doing this in the hood? Why is she 14 years old and pregnant? Why are they gay and lesbian? Why are they all out there? Are they ta- why is he ta- why why is Tyrone tattooing himself all up? Why are he running around and smoking and weed and crack in the hallway? What's wrong? Nobody wants to address that. Nor does nobody want to separate from that. We live with our filth. Don't talk about, don't tell me about making the people uh, physically well if they're not mentally well. Don't tell me, you can talk about all the doctor savings you want to, but like I said, if our people's minds are not cleaned up, if our people's minds are not cleaned up, if our people's uh, intelligence level is not raised, then all of that talk don't mean nothing. All that history talk, all that Egypt talk, all that ancient Kemet, all that, uh, all that, all that speakers and whatnot. Like I said, nobody's speaking about the, the intelligence level of our people or the people who are mentally dead, the people who are mentally uh, 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 messed up, the people who are demented, the people who are not moving forward. Because that's the true definition of a demented people, a people who are not moving forward mentally. Because mentally you're supposed to be receiving, you're supposed to be receiving intelligence to move forward. You're supposed to be receiving transmission from God, the supreme intellectual being, to move forward. If you're not receiving transmission to move forward via inspiration and things like that, then you know what? You're demented. And all the talk about money, economics, land is not going to matter. It's not going to matter. That's why when these Negroes get up here and talk about that, I don't watch those videos. That's why I don't go to these conferences. I don't listen to this madness. Because, like I said, it's a bunch of stupidity, and it's run by a bunch of demons. It's run by a bunch of people who who sit up here, and they're trying to cut your connection from God. They're trying to tell you, oh, why you got to talk? Well, we don't need no God. We don't need no leaders. We don't need no to come together. Watch those niggas. Watch those ones who are advocating that today. We don't need to come together. We don't need that. We don't need this. Everybody else is coming together. Everybody else is together. Why are you promoting us not being together? You know why they promote that? Because then 
there would have to be a leader of a group or a collective of people. And if there's a leader, then there's no more need for these people anymore. You understand? There's no more need for them. Nobody wants to sit around and listen to you talk about the same thing over and over again about Egypt and the past and history and Africa. Nobody want to hear that no more. They want they they interested in the future. They interested in being better people. They're interested in cleaning their life up. They're interested in the future. That's what that's how God thinking people are. God thinking people are interested in the future. They're not interested in going in circles, keep going to church and listening to the reverend say the same thing. A lot of our people are tired, and rightfully so. You should be tired. You should be tired. You should be tired of the same old rituals and the same lies and the same person opening up the same book to tell you the same story over and over and over again that's not feeding your intelligence. They're a bunch of demons, demented people, people that don't mean us no good. Straight up, I'm going to just say it how it is, raw and uncut, because God is raw and uncut. The true and living God is raw and uncut. That's not the God. That idea you got a God, that idea that you got of God in religion, in Islam, in Christianity, in Judaism, in Buddhism, is, is that, that, that those ideas of God came from a bunch of demented men. You understand? It came from a bunch of melancholy, demented men. No, God deals with logic and intelligence. God don't deal with uh, uh, emotions and feelings and hate and love. God don't deal with our people like that. He deals with logic and intelligence. If our people are not up to snuff mentally, then God ain't dealing with our people. That's what it is. You understand that? God is not dealing with our people. God ain't giving nobody, no, ain't no real God, no true and living God. No, None of our people are under no damn grace. There's no more grace period. The grace period that you thought you had is over. It's over. You understand? The world came to an end in the year 2000, for real. And a new world is coming in. That's real. And the people who are not in tune with it, you're not going to get it. You're going to sit around with your thumb up your butt looking like, oh, what are you talking about? Oh, what are you, well, I don't understand. Do, 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 do. I'm going back to church and get and praise for, I'm going to pray for him. He sounds like he's crazy. I'm going to go pray for him. You better keep your prayers for yourself because you're going to need them. You better keep every prayer that you think you're helping me with for yourself because you're going to need them. We already know where we're going. We already know where we're headed. We already know what we're in tune with, and we know what you're not in tune with. So we're going to make the separation based on that. We're making the separation based on that. I'm going to take a quick call. Now, people do this at the end of the broadcast. I told people don't do this. Go. Yeah. Seven, five, yeah, seven. I'm going to be quick. Yeah, I'm going to be quick, bro. You know, um, when we was young and um, we were being disciplined by our father and stuff in the house, you know how people used to pout and scream when they was being disciplined. And that's how it is now. You know, you come in with a truth as, you know, as a father figure would and people go in their room and start pouting and screaming and stuff like that. It's just the fact that people just don't want to be disciplined. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just wanted to share that because what you're saying in general is that, you know, people want to be entertained and they don't want to be disciplined. And so that's why, you know, somebody coming with intelligence, they know, oh, that's discipline. So I'm going to run back to the church. I can be entertained or to a comedy or something like exactly. that. I'm, I'm gonna exactly. Exactly. Yeah, well, well put. Yeah. No, well put. Well put. Exactly. This is, see, this is, this, this is for the grown ups. God is for the grown ups. For the children, the, the white man entertains our people in the church and the mosque and religion. He entertains our people with nice little stories and the Bible and the Quran. No, God is for the intelligent people. God is for the grown-up people. You understand? This is this is this is this is God rolling uncut. A lot of our people ain't ready for it because they ain't they not they not from God. They they of man. So, all right, brother. I thank you for calling. Yeah, in. no doubt. All right. All right. Come and hear more about God rolling uncut. Straight. Something we've been without for thousands of years. Come here to true knowledge of God. Something we've been without for thousands of years. Right? Tomorrow, the 27th, Sunday, be there in Brooklyn, New York. Hear the true intelligence of God. Something we've been without for thousands of years. It's going to be revealed again and again and again and again. And we're going to move forward. So let me go ahead and read these uh, things as I usually do. I like to thank all of you for coming out. You know, on short notice, 
the true people who want to receive this. Like I said, I put that Samuel Jackson character up there because a lot of our people are like that. Demented people really have that mentality in their minds like that. A lot of our people are a bunch of Sam Jacksons on the inside. That character, Steven, a lot of our people are like that, male and female. So a bunch of demons. What is a black demon? A black demon is one who is in mental darkness. That's what a black demon is, one who is in mental darkness, a demented person, one who is absent of light, which is the intelligence of God, Amen, the true and living God. That's one who is a black demon. You find them in your religion. You'll find them in your cultural movement, in your conscious movement, and they're the ones who will try to steer you off the path of coming in tune with God because a lot of you are seeking right now. A lot of you are seeing religion fall down. A lot of you are seeing these conscious clowns being exposed as clowns, you understand? as a bunch of demons, as a people who just hired to chase your money or your currency and collect it for themselves because they want power. You understand? You're starting to wake up and see that. That they show, selling you a bunch of videos where he's not talking about nothing other than just slandering people and backbiting and going back and forth with people. Nothing to move the people forward mentally or physically. In order for there to be a physical movement, there has to be a, a mental movement first, a realization, an inspiration, a reality. The reality is God, the true and living God, Amen. We're going to invoke the name of Amen. We're going to invoke the name of Amen in the name of Amen in the name of the state of Mentel, the state of Amentel. Um, are demons real or just religious belief? They're very real. They're just as you know, there's crazy people out here and demented people. Those are your demons. Your crazy and demented people, they are your demons. The ones who are focused on throwing you off. The ones who serve no purpose here. You have your way out demons and you have your demented ones. The ones that your 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 subtle demons. The ones who aid in trying to throw you off the intelligence or disconnect you from the intelligence of God. Those are your subtle demons. Are demons born or made? You got born demons. People who are born demons. People who are born disconnected. You understand? The made ones, the ones who are made, they're the ones who are amongst the demons, the ones who try to get made. They always eventually come out of it. Because you always go, you always come out um, um, into who you really are. You always show who you truly are. You can't hide who you truly are. I bear witness to that. The truth is always going to come out about who you really are. You can't hide it. Right. Um, what are the characteristics of a black demon? The characteristics of a black demon is one who is constantly trying to say things like there's nothing new under the sun. You hear that a lot in the conscious community. Uh, there is no God. I am God. Or uh, 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 God is a concept of the white man. Those are your favorite catchphrases of your black demon. You know how you know that? Because they can't tell you anything. Or they can't explain anything about how nothing got here. They can't explain nothing. They just up there. So they, they, because their whole thing is to shut down your future vision. Their, their whole thing is to shut down anything where you're looking above and beyond what they're talking about or that circle of uh, submental nonsense and the belief system. Their whole thing is to shut that down. That's why there is no God. Uh, we alone. I'm my, I'm my own God. So you're just looking at them, focusing on them. You're not looking beyond them. That's what a demon does. That's what a demented person want, does, one who is um, absent of the intelligence of God. He has no connection with God. He has no future vision or intelligence. All right. Why do black demons, what, wh who do black demons serve? They serve the beast. They serve mankind. All right. And mankind serves, uh, mankind, the powers of beast, serve God. And the demons or the imps or these uh, uh, um, demented people, they serve the beast. The powers that be, the sacred ten, the satans, they serve them. The ones who you call the devil, the ones who were given life, the ones who lived and will die. Lived spelled back with his devil. The ones who lived and will eventually die. That's why it says lived in the past tense. Um, let's see. Okay, I think I answered everything. All right. We got four minutes to go. Join us tomorrow. I'm going to say it again. Join us tomorrow in Brooklyn, New York for the uh, super, uh, Superman, for the uh, True God Reveal. I got Superman, Superman on the brain. Though we are raising up the Supermen and the Superwomen, the supermental beings by the connection of the true and living God arm, and that hasn't changed. That's why you see the S symbol on the back of our card. We are raising the mentality of our people by the power as a supreme and supermental people in connection with God because God is the source of all supermental 
uh, uh, intelligence coming through. You understand? He's the one that's going to bring that line of intelligence and that line of correction to move our people forward mentally as we receive his intelligence. All right? Join us this um, Sunday, tomorrow, in Brooklyn, New York. Okay? All right. We're going to have to close out. I'm going to see what I want to close out with because I uh, want something nice. I want some nice traveling. I always get down to three minutes. Hmm. Let me hurry up. Let me see. Uh, uh, hmm, let me see. I already know what I want to play. Here we go. Star, Unbreakable. I am the intellectual newbie Men Carres. This has been State of Mentel Radio. Join us Monday night for a uh, brand new topic. It's going to be hot as usual. Good night. Star, still um, Unbreakable. <laughs> It's the Republic of Mental Act Rising out the black race to the white race Out the black race to the white race It's the Republic of Mental Act Black race to the white race If it's hell, I'm in, then it's hell us They tried everything just to spell us Fed us religion, gave us fake gods Through all of that, we beat the odds Now we coming together under one flag Colors red, gold and blue Superman, superwoman, that's me and you The infinite capabilities that 